a more detailed survey should then be carried out to assess the typical exposures of each group of workers. This is usually done using a sound level meter in combination with measurements from dosimeters that provide a more accurate personal exposure. The detailed survey will collect four key noise level measurements that you should have a basic understanding of. The science of noise measurement can be complicated, but to simplify things, this is all you need to know. A-weighted average noise levels replicate a human ear's response to noise. Therefore, much of the regulation actions are based on this value. C-weighted average noise level is filtered to a lower degree than A-weighted and therefore will always be higher. It can be used to select hearing protection. C-peak noise is the maximum decibel level associated with sudden crashes or bangs. It is an important measurement as peak sound can cause immediate long-term damage to the ear. Octave band frequency analysis is an important measurement when selecting hearing protection as it records the noise intensity at a range of individual frequencies. Using the noise level data collected, each work area can then be classified as either requiring hearing protection to be worn, or hearing protection provided and worn voluntarily, or no hearing protection controls are needed at all.